We're back on Access Carolina. The grand opening of a pet health and wellness store this Saturday is being celebrated with a big pet adoption event, too. We've got Denise Kelly here on the end, the owner mm -hmm. of Pet Wants Greenville North, hey. along with Aileen Eastergaard from Greenville County Animal Care. And this dog is named Texas, right? Um, ketchup couldn't be here. Without ketchup, might come. Tell us Texas's story. Yeah, so Texas is about two months old. Mm -hmm. um, we Baby. have him listed as a Chihuahua mix, but I mean, he really could kind of be anything small. Look at those sweet um, eyes. And he came into the shelter yesterday as a stray. Um, so he'll be able to go home next week. I love that we can hear his little sounds on the microphone. So adorable. Um, you, you walked him through this station. How did that go for you? Oh, everyone wanted him. <laughs> <laughs> everyone thought he was adorable because he yes. is. Well, and then you have a dog like that in your family, in your life, and you want to treat him, you mm -hmm. know, to all the best things. It's a true rags to riches story. Yeah, um, so is. Denise, your pet, well, pet wants is a wellness company. Yes. It strives to really focus on wellness and nutrition. Correct. Um, talk about your small batch food program. This is okay. an interesting concept. Yes. So it started around oh. 2010, Cincinnati, oh. Ohio. Two women who love their dogs. Oh decided that they wanted better for their dogs and more nutrition based food. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a small batch process Aww. where they cook it in small okay. batches at a low temperature okay. and slowly uh, and it, it, it packs in the nutrients and saves the flavor. There we go. And we see video of your store right there. People can yes. come in. And the way this happens, you, this can even be delivered. Did you bring any treats for D Texas by any chance? No. Oh, Texas, I'm so sorry. But she has a little stuffy. But <laughs> I did, but I things. am donating 100 pounds of food to yep. GCAC. Mm -hmm. Well, it is, uh, you've got a passion for animals. Your, your shop has a lot of uh, a lot of really cute things. And yes. what's it going to be like for you to have this grand opening and then to have all the people coming into the store and, yeah. and possibly meeting their forever friend there? That's right. Well, we, we're going to have um, face painting, um, bounce house, music adoptions we're going to give out new puppy baskets if somebody adopts a, yeah. a pet and uh, just be there to have fun with the community and promote our new store and what is it for you personally you open up this business you yeah. must care a lot about dogs or just you love to be about around them They're yes the, yes the best customers you could have oh right? yes i i had volunteered um some years ago at the at gcac <laughs> and i'm a retired teacher I've always loved pets. I would bring home all kinds of pets. And so my husband would always, always say, you know, you need to be in the pet industry. Um, we, as we got older, we decided we want to do something different mm -hmm. and we want to make a difference for some of the pets. There's so many of them with no homes. So that touched our heart and we want to make sure that they have full nutrition and we do have grooming as well. So yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's sweet puppies like this, all in need of homes. You yeah. never know um, who you're going to meet at an event They're like this. So the, cute. the dog and puppy adoption event is Saturday. It also includes, like you said, petting zoo, food truck, pet mm -hmm. photos, a bounce house, giveaways. Yes. Um, anything else about, you know, uh, Aileen, what happens when somebody brings a dog into their family? I mean, you probably, you hear these stories all the time about people who, lives are changed by something so tiny and squeaky. Oh, yeah. So, I mean... At GCAC, we believe that your pets are a part of your family, and so it's just helping you find another member of your ha of your family and helping that animal find their forever home. And yep. so, if there's another pet at the house, um, it might take a little bit of time to you know get to know each other. Mm -hmm. um, we are <laughs> we uh, promote uh, slow greetings, um, which can take a few weeks. Um, but just in general, it can take a few weeks to a few months for an animal to decompress from being in the shelter. Mm -hmm. yep. so. and, you, and you ease into that because this is a forever relationship mm -hmm. when it mm -hmm. happens. Yeah. Okay, and I know that uh, summer's probably a great time. A lot of people may be ready for that, that dog. Any, any issues you face in particular right now? There's always a need for adoptions. There's always a need for yes. support. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, the summer is actually our busier time of year, if you guys can believe it. Mm -hmm. um, we're always full, so yeah. Yeah. we could always you know, use some adoptions, well, all of that go stuff. go get Texas. Look at that sweet face. Texas <laughs> is not going to be adored. around for very long. Sweet. She's adorable. Well, He's we adorable. really appreciate uh, mm. you being in studio. Texas, mm -hmm. happy home finding mm -hmm. to you. <laughs> the new Pet Wants Greenville North has that grand mm -hmm. opening and this adoption event Saturday from mm -hmm. 11 a.m. to 4. The address is 2854 <laughs> Wade Hampton 
Boulevard in Taylor's and Meteorologist Catherine Rowe. You mm -hmm. heard the little the little whiny yeah. puppy sounds. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Well, that's yeah. easy. <laughs> we have a form with you, so we can just yeah. You know, yeah. just watch. Oh, you want a hey, sister hey, named Penny? <laughs> so She's sweet. She's so cute and her little grunts. Oh my goodness, you're Ooh. adorable. And once you adopt a sweet puppy like that, mm -hmm. that means you get to go to all the places. You get to right? go on all the walks. You get oh, to go yeah. to the dog parks. It opens up the whole.